Hello. So, I when I got home from school, I checked my YouTube messages and people were commenting on my very last video. Someone said that they enjoy my vlogs and that the only thing they wish is that I would go more into detail about school. So, I was about to take me a nap, but I'm not going to do that now. I decided to go ahead and jot down some questions that popped up in my head and I'm going to try and answer them to the best of my ability. If you all have any other questions that you would like to ask, feel free to do that. I may do another question and answer video or I'll just answer it in the in the comment section. I guess I'll just get started. So the first question on my list is how long is my program? The program that I'm in, it is a 12-month program, and this program, this 12-month program is the only 12-month program in my city. So you can actually do 8 months, 9 months, I guess 10 months, but I decided to go with the 12-month program, and that was only because when I came to tour my school, I thought that it was a great school. I'm one of those people who like to be in a smaller, less populated environment. So I decided to go along with my school. What kind of certification will I get? I will get the CCMA Certified Clinical Medical Assistant certification. Yeah, that's the certification that I'm hoping to get within about four weeks from now. I believe I'll do just fine, but I am nervous about it. How long is each module? Each module at my school is four weeks long, 16 days. I go to school Monday through Thursday. And I'm there from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. But sometimes we leave a little bit early, like 12.30, 12.45. I'm there for five hours each day, four days a week. 16 days in all is um, how long a module is. Which courses did I have to take in this program? The classes that I had to take are out of order on this list. But I'm going to just go ahead and read them anyways. Some modules... Like the very first module, I had just one class, and that was Fundamentals of Medical Assistant. And then other modules, I had two classes. And another module I had, it was split into three three classes. And then my very last module, Module 11, is going to be split into three classes as well. So, Fundamentals of Medical Assistant, Written Communication, Health Science Essentials, Social Psychology, Health Science Business Procedures. That class was pretty much just a computer class, just learning how to use the computer. Speech Communication, Medical Laboratory Procedures, General Psychology, Specialty Exams, Urinalysis and Microbiology. That's one class. Pharmacology, Introduction to Healthcare Insurance, Career Development Fundamentals, Cardiac Specialty Procedures, Reimbursement. Nervous and Digestive Systems, Advanced Healthcare Insurance, that's what I'm taking right now for Module 10, uh, Coding and Billing, Law, Ethics, and Therapeutic Communication, Introduction to Algebra Part 1, and then for Module 11, I'll be taking Capstone and Certification Preparation, Career Development Principles, and Introduction to Algebra Part 2. So yes, yes, yes. You will have to take math, Algebra Part 1 and Algebra Part 2. I know, I know, for those who hate math, it's not my fave subject, but I don't think it's so bad. At least my teacher, she was really nice. And then after that, externship. So 22 classes and then extern. Yep. Next question. How many books will I need? You will need a book for every single course. Um, our books are online. So, they're not physical, but I did buy one book. Here's the book. It's pretty big. And um, I got this book um, used. I don't know what website I was on. I forgot what website I got it on, but yeah. it was. I only paid like $12 or something. It's as if they took this book right here and broke it up into several smaller books. This is the exact same information from my, my online books. Right from right. Was there a waiting list? No, there was not a waiting list when I applied for the medical assistant program at Remington. 
Actually, I went in, I remember, I went in on a Friday to tour the campus. And that Monday, I was enrolled. I was starting in school. So, it was just like, it was really quick. Like, I didn't have to wait at, at all. Where will I be taking the certification test and do I have to pay for it? I will be taking the certification test on campus, at, um, at school, on campus. Um, and no, I do not have to pay for it. They will, I believe that they will allow you to take the test, I believe, two or three times. And then after that, you will have to pay for it. And also, according to Remington, if you don't pass it, I think on the third time, the third try, you will not be able to, you will not be able to graduate. And you will be ineligible to apply to any program in Remington ever again. I, I think that's a bit harsh, but that's just, that, that's their rule. How long is the certification test? If I'm not mistaken, I believe that it's, it is um, two hours long. Uh, I guess 200 and something questions. I'm not really sure right now, but I will correct myself um, when I find that out next module. I believe it's 200 and something questions and two hours long. Can I go on extern without being certified? At my school, no, you cannot. At first you could, but they changed it. If you're not certified, then you cannot go on extern. How long is my externship? My externship is module number 12. So it will be four weeks long, but instead of going only four days a week, I will be going Monday through Friday. And I'm guessing from 8 a.m. to about 4 o'clock, 4.30. So it will be a full-time shift. How many uniforms do I get and how much are they? In the beginning, they gave me two scrubs, um, but after that, I did purchase me another top and another bottom. And in all, it was $20 for one piece, just for a top is $10, and for the bottom, $10. So in all, $20 for a uniform. And they just have the Remington symbol right there. I believe that they have these uniforms, um, unisex, so that, you know, guys and girls can wear them. So, no, it isn't very fitted. I'm sure many of you want to know this question. <laughs> did I get a refund check back? Yes, I did. It wasn't until this module, module number 10, when I got my refund check back. And actually, we got two more checks, but they were like, I guess, like the um, second module or the third module. And um, it was $200. Yeah, $200. And then another one, I guess I was like in module number 6. And that one was $200 as well. And then module 10 was when I got, um, I guess, the biggest one that I would be getting. Yep, student loans. Student loans. Oh, speaking of loans, how much is my program? And that's not even a question that I have on here. My program is almost $20,000. I know. I was thinking maybe I should have gotten on a waiting list and went to um one of those community colleges, but I just wanted to do something now, and I didn't want to wait. So my program is 19000 and something. I can't remember, but I was like, man, yeah, I'm going to have to pay that back. So, yeah, almost $20,000. That's how much this program is at Remington for medical assistant. When am I going to graduate? I'm going to graduate in October. So I will start my extern April 11th, and then it will end early May. They only have two graduations, one in April and one is in October, so I missed that train because there's no way that I will be able to graduate in April if I'm going to be on extern and I won't be done with my externship until early May. So, yeah, I was a little upset about that. I'm like, man, I'm like, May, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, I'll be graduating in October. Did I have to get any required shots for the program? Yes, I actually had to get three hepatitis B shots, but they were spread out over time. I think they were like three months apart. And then when you're done with that, they're going to give you... That didn't really hurt, or at least I can take shots very well. But yeah, then they gave me this card that says vaccination record card. And it just has your name on it, the dates that you got each um, injection. That's that. And you have to um, keep this with you because 
I was told my external coordinator, I was told that they will ask you for that. You know, when you try to apply to jobs and stuff. I also keep my CPR certification card in here. And just my um, student name tag. Do I document my blood draws and injections? How many do I need? Yes, I do document every single injection that I give. Every blood draw that I do. I document them on this phlebotomy practice verification sheet. Yeah. They gave me this folder to document all of my shots. It has the person's name that you stuck or you uh, injected. It has the um, instructor's signature and the type of blood draw. So on this sheet, it says that I need 75 sticks in all. But I um, found out that you actually do not have to have this completed if you do not plan to be a phlebotomist. That's every shot that I have um, completed since I've been in the program. Was the CPR certification difficult and how long before it expires? Yes, I am CPR certified. No, it was not difficult. We actually went over all of the questions that would be on the CPR certification. And the CPR certification was done on um, campus in our classroom. And pretty much what we had studied and our practice test, that was the CPR test. Our practice test was the CPR test. So, yeah, we just had um, about, like, I guess 20 questions. And that was that. <laughs> that was, it was easier than what I thought it would be. Yeah, but my hands, I think I have a vlog talking about that um, and a vlog showing when I was doing CPR and certification, but my hands felt so tired. I'm like, pum, pum, pum. <laughs> what do I need before I can go out on X-Turn? So, before you can go out on X-Turn, at my school, you would need to complete all of your modules. You would need a minimum of a 2.5 GPA or a 2.0 GPA, but I'm not sure, but I, I think it's a 2.5 GPA. You need to pass the certification test with at least a score of a 390 on your um, CCMA. I think the highest that you can get is a 500. And then you will need all three hepatitis B shots. You will need your hepatitis B verification card, your name tag, and your CPR certification in order to go on x -turn. Hope I'm not forgetting anything. Then I have to take an entrance test. Yes, I actually did have to take an entrance test in order to get accepted at Remington College. But, don't worry, the test was very, very easy. It was really simple. It was basically just seeing if you could do, like, basic math, um, um, I guess basic spelling, stuff like that. It was, it was actually really easy. I think it was just only 15 minutes, and I had to answer at least, get at least, I think... <clears throat> I can't remember. It's been a while. I think at least 50 questions right within 15 minutes. So it went really, really fast. And you only get to have one little piece of um, paper so that you can jot down stuff or whatever. And you cannot use a calculator. Do I complete all of my assignments online? Actually, yes. I complete basically all of my work online. We use this um, online uh, portal called Moodle. And I submit... All of my work online, and then every once in a while, the teacher may give you a, a paper test that she wants you to do. You may have to do, you know, watch a movie and write a paper on it, or and submit it in person, or something like a poster board project. Do I ever get to come to school out of uniform? Not very often, but I do. We had Spirit Week, and I was able to come out of uniform. I think pretty much the whole week. Um, another time we had like Ugly Sweater Day. Some other times we've been able to come out of uniform, and tomorrow we are coming out of uniform, but I had to pay a dollar for it, and it's going to be for the, mar the March of Dimes. I get to come out of uniform tomorrow. I get to wear jeans. I'm excited. What module was I in when I completed my first blood draw? When I completed my very first blood draw, don't get it right, I was in module number one, and if I'm not mistaken, it was the very second week. My teacher, she moved us really, really fast. And also, we did not use those um, those dummy arms. She said that she didn't want to use the dummy arms because she said that the experience just absolutely 
does not compare to actually working on a, a real person, a live patient. So I've never stuck a dummy arm before. What are some skills that I have learned? And this is my very last question. Some skills that I have learned in the medical assistant program at my school, I have learned how to do blood draws. I have learned how to take blood pressure, you know, do vital signs. We do respiration, temperature, pulse, weight, height. I have learned how to do capillaries, how to do the um, nebulizer. That's the little machine for, you know, um, breathing treatment. Pregnancy test, um, strep throat testing. Yeah, right now I really can't think of everything. I'm sorry. But um, I've learned quite a bit. Um, pretty much your basic stuff and then your extras. But yeah, you're going to not have to do vitals. Vitals, 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 lots of vital signs, lots of vital signs, lots of blood draws, a ton of injections. Oh, and also you're going to practice answering the phone, talking to your patients, helping them use the walker, crutches, a cane, how to position your patients. <sighs> There's so many things. You're going to know how to do, uh, it's right on the top, uh, EKGs, the um, electrocardiograms. And the list goes on and on. I forgot to mention documenting. You're going to know how to document every single thing. Every single thing. Because that is very important. That is a very vital, very essential part of the medical field. You have to document every single thing. So you will know how to do proper documentation. So this is Moodle. And you just have your courses over here. I'm, all, I'm just taking two classes right now, but... They have already added on my capstone and introduction to algebra part two. I'm going to be taking it next. But let me just click on nervous and digestive system. That's what I'm taking right now. So it's going to be like this week one, week two, week three, week four. And most of the time, pretty much all the time, I'll just go ahead and complete each week. Pretty much the very first week, <laughs> I'll complete all of them. But sometimes I don't. So, you have your textbook right there. You just click on it and it's going to open up. So, yeah. Let's type in nervous system. And then, see, it will just highlight everywhere that says the word nervous or system. And then, this is just the contents. So, that's pretty much what my textbook looks like. You see that? It's basically the same book. I can always go back to my old books by clicking on this little house thingy. And it says library. And here are all the books that we have used. So yeah, um, I can check my grades. Go to grades. You can do an overview report. Right now, I have a 99.06 and a 99.39. And you can see all of your grades overall for week one, week two, week three, and week four all together. That's it. So if you have any more questions, let me know. I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.